You know, we teach children that our planet is going around the sun like this, in a circle. That's not the case. We should never, ever, ever teach that to children. In my school, we had a sun. We had this little machine, this little device. We had the sun in the middle with the earth and the moon. And we had like a little thing we turned on the bottom and it would go around like that to show us what the solar system looked like. Did you have that in your schools? This is completely wrong. That would be like saying to children that the earth is flat. It's not true. Why? Because our sun is moving through space at 3,000 miles per second. So as the planets are following the sun, they are making this huge spiral through space. And so after a year of the earth spinning around the sun, we're not anywhere close to where we were a year ago. We're millions, billions of miles away. Every minute, every second of our, is different from the other because the evolution of the coordinates of the space-time manifold is constantly changing. We're never coming back to the same point. The information is constantly changing. We are, through this speed of light interaction of app, you know, where the electron appears and disappears and appears and disappears, we are embedding information along that spiral on the structure of space-time, along that path. Can you all visualize that? And so that, if you actually took the earth and you took you on the earth, your body on the earth, you could say that like we could follow that path through space and your DNA is actually embedding information on the structure of space-time all along that path. Do we have any evidence that DNA does that? Yes. It's called phantom DNA. It was discovered by the Russian. It was discovered by accident because there was a scientist that was doing a measurement in a spectrum analysis device scattering photons off, a surf of, off DNA and he was taking measurements and he went for lunch. He removed the DNA sample from the device and went for lunch. And when he came back from lunch, you know, I think Russian people like to drink vodka. <laughs> he forgot that he had removed the DNA strand, and so he, he continued his experiment. He continued to make measurements. And the measurements were coming out like the DNA was still in the machine. But the, the strand was not there anymore. So... DNA leaves an imprint on the structure of space-time. Leaves an imprint of information on the structure of the vacuum. You are imprinting information on the structure of the vacuum. This is actually, according to me, why you have memory. Because you know, if you had no memory, you wouldn't have time, would not exist, because you couldn't remember anything. <laughs> so, actually, memory, which has not been identified in the brain, you know, people are trying to figure out where memory is in the brain. You know, a lot of scientists are trying to identify where is consciousness in the brain. I think Buckminster uh, uh, Fuller said it the best. He said, the problem with the current approach to science is that we have made, we have confused 
the telephone for the conversation. Right? The brain is a telephone. It's not the conversation. <laughs> the conversation is the structure of the vacuum interacting. The chemistry that occurs in the brain, the electrical discharge, is a result of the structure of space-time interacting, not the source. And that's why if, you know, there is disturbance in our field, in our emotion, then chemistry starts to change in the brain. You can't just change the chemistry of the brain and assume that the problem, the emotional trauma and all this is going to go away because that's still embedded on the structure of space-time. So using this, I've helped people that had serious trauma try to help them relieve that trauma because somewhere it's on the structure of space-time. And so since that actually connects right up to you, in your back actually, right? Since that connects right up to you, then you can have access to that structure along that path. This is actually how psychology work, you know, people say, oh, you know, you think of your childhood and try to have a new optic on your childhood and that will, you know, relieve you from trauma. Well, that's because, although they don't know that, that's because you're actually changing the memory imprint on the structure of space-time. You can actually follow the information of you along that structure all the way back to your mother. That spiral goes all the way back to your mother and that connects your spiral with her spiral. Where you come connect with your mother, you can, you, can, you can go towards your father's spiral or you can go towards your mother's spiral. And then you can continue along that path. And then again and again, this is actually how, according to my work, genes gather, keep information continuous. You know, in current biology, there's no explanation how genes carry all this information that produce the genetic pool the continuous from a family to another family, you know, along that path. This is because the imprint is actually in, uh, uh, informing the genome structure. So along that path, you can actually go with your consciousness, and I've been able to help people do that, because if you actually understand the correct mechanics, of that path, you can follow it, and along it, you can change your relationship to an event. You can change the geometry. So if there was an event that was traumatic, you can actually uh, experience the event from a different angle. For instance, for canceling the event completely, if somebody did something wrong to you, you can experience the event from that perspective, from the person that did something to you. And there you're going to experience maybe their fear and their trauma and all this. And then that will cancel your experience. And all of a sudden, all of the information moving forward back to your present will change. And as a result... I've had people like have, you know, uh, healing almost instantaneously on the spot. Release like trauma that has been there for the whole life. And as you change this, it's going to change it forward to your present and that will change the information moving forward to your future. Because 
now it's changed. And from that moment, you can change that information all the way back as well, because when you change it, it's going back in that spiral. Now you're changing generation of information throughout time. Your mother, your grandmother, da 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 da. Your father, your grandfather, da da da. You see, because at you are that very tip of the spiral. You know, that very tip at the end of that spiral that goes generations and generations and generations till the beginning of time. So your responsibility, you've accumulated all this information from all of these generations. It's your responsibility to make it different. 